Well, the story came from a tip-off, actually. Johnny Shapiro got a tip-off that ultimately we couldn't prove to be true. It didn't check out. But what it did do was focus the minds of um, the team on this very sizable contract. And the company that really was little known um, had a company registered to a beach shack in Kangaroo Island and a post office box in Singapore. Um, and they'd won this contract that was worth, in the end, more than half a billion dollars from the Australian government. Look, I think it's really important to know about this story because here in Australia there is bipartisan support to have a border protection regime which involves offshore processing on Manus Island and in Nauru. To have that program, to have integrity, you need to make sure that these contracts are administered correctly and that services are delivered. Now what we found out from our reporting is that the services were largely non-existent there was terrible maintenance. The food was often not delivered. Bus services didn't run on time. So the actual humanitarian needs of the refugees were often not taken care of, despite this contract being worth more than $530 million. A very encouraging aspect of working on this story is that you can see how investigations and in-depth reporting can actually have an impact. Um, since we started reporting in January, uh, this contract and the company that has been awarded it is the subject of an investigation by the Auditor General. The Home Affairs Department also ordered their own review, which has since been released, and from that we see significant concerns about the way the contract was awarded. You need investigative reporting to dig some of this stuff out, and it's been quite encouraging to see that it's actually had an impact.